Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to speed up your your uh, laptop, you know, because I did a video about 2-3 hours ago how to speed up World of War. So basically, first of all you're going to go to control panel. This is the easiest thing to do, it speeds up by at least 30% more maybe. Click view, uh, I'm going to run and click advanced settings. You click yes. And see here advanced, you click settings. And you go adjust for best performance, which makes it look like it makes it look like Windows Vista, but it it's worth it because it makes you it speed up a lot. See when you when you click that, it will untick all of them. But I don't want to do that because I make it look like Windows 7, but it's still fast. If you want to do that, just tick all the ones I did. Okay, and then second is well, you'll see your RAM and everything. Uh, this is another way as well. Actually, I've already allocated some. You click settings, and you just go to advanced click change and basically you click on one of these to take memory out of and you put that towards your your physical you get physical and then you get the other RAM I don't know what virtual you get virtual see recommended but I put more so that's like that's like nine megabytes of virtual RAM right there nine gigabytes nearly uh, so that's okay another way is CC cleaner which I don't have that but because I don't really use it another one is disk cleanup which is you just go like this, it will scan your your disk like this. I'll show you now quickly. Uh, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I am. Um, let me just make sure I'm back. Yes, I am. Okay, so basically, you'll see all these. You'll see temporary. So I always delete my recycling bin. You'll see temporary files. They say not to delete. If I just delete anyway, delete all of this. It might not take up a lot of space, see, but over time, it will do that. And you just click OK and permanently delete files. And it doesn't take too long, it takes what, like, just not too long. That's all done. Then another one is this defragmenter, which is, which basically it makes you slow down your computer and all that, but I'm not going to do that because I don't know that. And I downloaded this as well, it's really good, and it, it gives you a malware and everything. Uh, here it is. Advanced system, advanced system care. Don't know if you guys, you guys might have tried this out before, but I think I find it really good. I'll just quickly show you. Sorry, this like copyright or anything. I don't know. I don't think so. You do the scan. You do turbo boost. Speed up your computer completely. You can go into gaming mode as well, which is cool. But internet boost it actually boosts up. So you can do all this scan and you'll fix it all. And smart RAM here now. This you can. It releases energy like I'll go at Smart Clean. Look at 252 megabytes. Go do a deep clean. There's your CPU. And command. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll be right back when this time. Anyway guys, as you can see, look, 542.9 megabyte. Now, that's a lot, to be fair. But I'll just close that off. Sorry about that. It's slower. No, 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 cancel. Fuck you. So, that's really it, guys. That's all you can do to speed up your thing. You can get system tools and everything. You can uh, you can add in more RAM to your laptop. I, I don't know how to do that. I'm, I might be getting a new kind of RAM stick soon. Sounds kind of weird, but okay. Um... So anyway guys, uh, yes this also has um, a defrag on it as well, and it's a lot better than the Windows defrag, it's called, it automatically defrags as well, so, and all this stuff, yeah, and my laptop is pretty fast. Oh, and here's another way as well, I don't know, this actually works, I don't know how, um, uh, go text document, uh, call that, yeah, uh, open it up. And put you wouldn't think this works now, but it actually does. You have to click it like my string equals and then put it in brackets. Uh it's like eight zero 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 it's like that that much 
another bracket and then you save this file as save as what uh what is it now? You, I don't know why you save it as this but you save it it's like it's like a script file ram dot gbe and you'll see you'll have a ram file wait you should have a ram file usually it's like um Well, that's not really working, but okay, that's something like that you do. Don't think I did the numbers right, but anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Next video will be how to put on custom maps into Call of Duty World at War. So, goodbye.